Time for exam three. In this exam, you'll be presented with 12 videos of exercises. Most of these exercises are being done incorrectly. There are seven questions to answer per exercise. The first question is, what exercise is it? Identify the question. Identify the exercise. The second question is, what are the primary muscle groups used in this exercise? Question three, what are the secondary muscle groups used in this exercise? Question four, was this exercise done correctly or incorrectly? Question five, if it was done incorrectly, what deviation did you observe? So what was done incorrectly about the exercise? Uh, through most of these exercises, when I did them incorrectly, I tried to make it uh, pretty blatantly obvious what was done incorrectly. Um, if you watch the tutorial videos, if you took notes and paid attention to, uh, to when things were discussed regarding correct technique versus deviations you might see and how to fix it, you should be able to spot them pretty easily. Question six. How would you correct that deviation uh, during coaching within the session? And question seven, how would you correct that deviation chronically? Uh, what type of training would you imply to uh, correct it? So, for example, uh, what muscle groups might you want to strengthen? Uh, what joints might you want to stretch to increase a range of motion in? Um, and, uh, and how might you... Uh, regress that exercise to, uh, to, to have it done correctly. Or uh, as we'll see in the example, um, what would you do to, uh, to ensure the person is able to do the exercise correctly over time? Now for question number seven, um, this may not apply to all exercises. Some may be as simple as fixing it within the session. However, if you attempt to answer it and, and there is no answer to it, you will not, you will not have points taken off. So, uh, so if the exercise was done cor incorrectly, I suggest you try to answer question seven, regardless. If you forget these questions, I'm going to put them online in a document. Now, let's look at an example. So let's look at our, uh, our example exercise before we go through the 12 that you will need to look at. Question one, identify this exercise. It was a high bar back squat. Number two, what are the primary muscle groups? The quadriceps. Number three, what are the secondary muscle groups? The glutes. Question number four, was this exercise done correctly or incorrectly? No. No is correct. No. It was done incorrectly. Why was it incorrect? Question five, because the subject was not squatting low enough. They were doing a three-quarter squat rather than a parallel high bar back squat. Question six, what cues would you deliver to fix it within the session? So how would you coach that exercise correctly? Um, you would tell that person to squat lower. And question seven, how would you fix it chronically? Um, so you might try to progress them over time, over the course of six to eight weeks, um, 
through uh, a lower and lower or a greater range of motion until they are able to squat to depth. Now, make sure you're specific in answering these questions. If you answer a squat, then, uh, then you are not entirely correct because it is it a high bar back squat, a low bar back squat, is it a front squat? For some of the Olympic lifts, for example, was it a snatch off the floor? Was it a hang snatch? Was it a power snatch? The same thing goes with the cleans, etc. So make sure you answer it uh, with as much detail as possible. So a barbell high bar back squat. For some of the chest presses, was it barbell or dumbbell? Was it incline or flat? Things like that. Okay, let's begin the exam. Exercise number one. Exercise number two. Exercise number three. Exercise number four. Exercise number five.
exercise number six. Exercise number seven. Exercise number eight. Exercise number nine. Exercise number 10. Exercise number 11. And exercise number 12. Good luck.